All right, so I put some more water in this bad boy, and then I figured out, um, you listen, you got that weird sound? Man, 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 man. It's not normal, or at least it doesn't sound good. Um, so what I'm doing, I went ahead and I thought, well, let's see what the fuck happens here when I take this off. So this nozzle tip, it's going straight. You know, I'm getting maybe 15, 20 feet, but I'm taking the tip off. Now I'm getting some music. This is what it should sound like. So what it's telling me is this tiny little system I've got working, or this tiny little diameter, this little spout, it's not enough flow rate, so it's putting a hindrance on the, uh, the pump. It's hurting it. So basically, I've got a 3 8, in, 3 8 poly tube on there, or irrigation tube that came with it. A lot of articles and stuff I was reading online said to, to get a half inch, you know, get a, a three-quarter input line, and then narrow it down to a half inch outward. So what this is telling me is that, you know, that's correct. That's what I've been reading. That's what I've been watching on these videos. These guys says, the wider the hose, the better. Sometimes a 3 8 hose, you know, that's fine. That's good. But when you increase the volume, that's not a good sign with the tiny one. You need the big one. So this tells me before I place an order, uh, I'm not even gonna bother with a 3 8 line. The past couple of days, this tank's been sitting in my garage, and I've been, you know, doing some jobs to get the battery, get the, get the goddamn uh, hose, and then go to work. You know, I got to get the insurance for roof cleaning. Um, I'm glad I waited and paused and did this interactive deal because I'm not going to be spending 200 some dollars on a 3 8 hose. I'm going to kick it up to a, you know, a one half hose. I'm going to get a one and a half inch, um, maybe even three quarters. But I got to figure out if this fat boy swim over here. It's going to, uh, it's going to handle it. You know, obviously it is. Everyone on, you know, they'll get a fat boy pump. I went and got a Everflow, you know, 5.5 gallon. So I'm thinking that's where it's at. You know, you can't break a sweat in seven seconds, or eight seconds, or six seconds. It's seven minute abs. You need 5.5 or above. Um, the next one I buy, I'm going to go up a little higher than that, and then a little higher than that, and a little higher than that. Um, I don't know if it gets that high. I mean, you get 8, 10, 12 gallons per minute. You can get whatever you want, but you're going to pay for it. But from what I've been reading, you know, I paid uh, $115 or something for this pump. Got it next day, Amazon Prime. That's pretty cool. But I didn't buy it from a retail wholesaler close by. So if this pump takes a shit, I can't just walk it to Northern Tool or someone and say, Hey, I was running straight water and Roundup through here. Can you go ahead and give me another one? Sure thing. Amazon, i got to dick around and hope that they can return it. Or spend $115 and get it next day or same day if applicable for Prime. Uh, Amazon Prime is pretty awesome. I don't know anyone who doesn't have Amazon Prime. You can order you know, headphones, you can order you know, steak from, from Whole Foods in the Houston area and get it usually within two hours, same day, later the afternoon or the next day. Um, I'm going to stick with Amazon I think for now. Maybe these powerwashwebsites.com are going to have really good deals, incentives and all that. But, but at this point, uh, for my little tiny operation I've got I'm gonna stick with uh, with Everflow for now you know maybe later it'll be Delavan maybe Sureflow or whatever the hell they're called but uh, I'm gonna stick with this this does appear it is the same make and model for the Gemplers unit so the four bolts will fit directly in there when I take it apart that was a tip from uh, WNC Wash Pros so you know I pay attention to all these damn videos they're, they're, they're full of great information I've watched some of them two times some of them three times uh, you, know, you just, you just got to pay attention, and if you want the information, you got to go out there and watch. There's a lot of great guys with channels who have great information, short, long videos of all the stuff you need. And right now, I'm going to Kevin Smith a little bit. Okay, it's great, folks. Just great. You just got to get it. Get it in your, uh, you know, you're taking a shit. Turn on YouTube, watch the video, pause it, click watch later. You go to work, or you're going to go to the bathroom, and your wife knocking on the door. I need to go to the bathroom. Or your little kids. I need to go to the bathroom. I'm losing my I'm going to pee pee in my pants. Save the video, watch it later, click the like and share button on my thing, uh, subscribe now. I've got no subscribers, but that just means that the cream of the crop, that's right, we're going to rise to the top. Yeah, we're going to rise to the top. Not too man, Randy Savage does it. Yeah, let me tell you something. These pumps, you're going to rise to the top. You're going to be cream of the crop. So buy a pump. Anyway. So that's it. I'm going to make videos on YouTube, figuring out a one-man one operation. 
with no freaking idea what he's doing, with only the help of YouTube, is gonna rise to the top. Yeah, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Good. Yeah, we're gonna do it, man. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna figure this out. Um, I'm gonna order the half inch sized uh, Curatec hose or whatever kind of hose I need. I wanted to get that poly carbon or the poly fiber or the poly braided, whatever. Um, but too much shit I'm reading says it kinks, it breaks, it bends, it bows. Um, the 3 8 hose I've been reading also will get caught on the shingles and stuff like that. So when you're dragging that goddamn thing across the uh, roof, instead of getting yanked back, getting caught in a roof uh, shingle that catches it, um, I've been reading the 1 half and the 3 8 slide over like butter, like cream. Cream to the crop. All over the place. So it works. Um, so far I'm happy with what I got. You know, I bought myself a nice battery today at the uh, Advanced Auto Parts. 25% off Labor Day sale. Yeah, Labor Day. You're going to celebrate Labor Day by not working. No macho man going to save 25% on a battery at Advanced Auto. Yeah. Ooh, we're going to win that belt. We're going to put that belt around us. We're going to climb on the roof. We're going to bring to the top of that roof. We're going to bring it. We're going to put We're going to put something on that thing. Oh, we're going to clean it. Yeah. Oh, we're going to clean that roof. Oh. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to clean that roof. We're going to clean that house. But mainly, I bought this soft washer to, uh, to help pay for the family goods, the expenses, and make some money. You know, make some money. The job I've been doing, uh, I've done a couple dozen houses in my neighborhood. You know, soft washing, pressure washing their driveway, the patio, the swimming pool area. Uh, one of the things I'm going to talk about in these videos, pumps, rising to the top, yeah. And also, um, you know, Keith, Keith Kelfis, he's got a video on here, it's like, I am ability, um, a couple of the window cleaner, you know, he does a lot of great videos, a ton of great videos, actually. He's one of those hundred people I'd like to meet. Coming aside here, what he talks about, and one of the traps or mentalities that you have as a small business starting out is um, self-worth. You know, how much are you worth? How much is your time worth? One of my major hurdles was setting a set price. Um, how much is a one-story house wash? Uh, how many square foot? How much percent per square foot? What am I gonna charge them? Is that too much? Will they say no? What did I eat this morning? All these questions go sh through your head and you're not really sure um, you know, to really nail it down. So one thing I'm gonna say, when you're starting a new business, power washing, pressure washing, landscaping, whatever, um, one of your most important things is realizing your self-worth. You know, you gotta, you gotta figure out, one way I looked at it, if someone's gonna hire you to mow their back acre, and they're gonna pay you $100 to mow it, is it gonna matter if you own a $3,000 tractor, self-propelled, that'll get it done in 24 minutes, or if you're using a push mower, self-propelled? It's still a $100 field. There's no reason why, just because you have a, a push mower, and it will take you three to four hours, doesn't mean you should ask for a dollar under a hundred bucks. You should ask for that hundred, but you should also deliver on your promise. That's the big thing, and the greatest thing that I've been doing is delivery. You know, I've been, um, every job that I've got, I followed through. Um, I provided great customer service, which is you should be doing, and also, you know, just confidence. You gotta be confident in what you're doing, you know? A lot of this is a, a live and a learn technique, you know, and the learning part isn't what did I just do. It's more of a um, ability. Uh, can I do this? Can I do that? Do I feel comfortable? Am I confident I can get the job done while making the customer happy? One of my things is uh, I'll treat your house like it was mine, and that's the truth. You show up to somebody's freaking house and you start blasting chemicals and pressure washing shit on it, you better treat it with respect and you better be nice to it because, uh, you know, if you don't have insurance, you're screwed. Uh, you blast a hole in somebody's window, you tear a bunch of sheetrock off or something, you're gonna pay for it. Which leads me to insurance. Get the insurance. You know, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive either. And the cost of doing business, insurance, you know, paying taxes, it's all important. Um, you know, I pay $1,000 a year for taxes. Taxes. $1,000 a year for insurance. I've got a million dollar policy that covers me for a two-story house wash uh, and then surface. One thing I caught early on, or as I was moving, was the fact that I went through my policy and it said, you know, you, you can't go above one story. Uh, and I, basically, I caught a couple things. I had to call my insurance agent and say, 
I can't soft wash a house, I'm, I'm a pressure washer, but my insurance policy doesn't say this. Oh, well, let me check. Oh, yeah, it says you can't. Well, what the fucking add it on then? That's what I'm doing. So they caught it, they added it on. It was like, there was nothing added on for the premium for the year. My payments stayed the same. So I suggest to you that if you're gonna go ahead and actually buy the insurance and all this shit, make that guy's life because he gets a 20% premium for, for selling you insurance. So, you know, you, your insurance agent works for you. So when you're buying insurance, like the price and know what you're getting because these guys, eh, they're just here to sign you up and collect your, uh, your premium deductible on their end, you know? They get a commission for signing you up for insurance. And that's cool, I used to sell insurance. Um, when I caught them on the mistake, and we'll call it a mistake because I didn't tell them, um, they were really cool about it and they were able to help me as soon as they could. Um, I recently am now just making a switch to add soft wash of a roof to my policy. So they've got that in the works to get it binded and stuff. But that also gives me the ability to get on a ladder. Uh, I would love to start offering second story gutter and you know gutter cleaning, but I can't really do that because I'm not insured for it. The fact that I'm soft washing will give me some ladder capability to climb up to rise to the top. Yeah, to be the cream of the crop in the roofing. Yeah, we're gonna clean that roof. Get that gutter juice. Get that out of there. Collect that money. Oh, yeah. You know, so we're gonna do that. I'm really excited about it because you know, I can I can sit there and do a driveway all day long. Time, money, slow. Slow equals clean, time equals money. Slow means go. Get something that'll pay better. Um, I don't have a four, mil, four gallon, five gallon per minute pump, so it takes me a while to soft wash a driveway. It's not like it's an easy, quick thing. You know, I'm sure if I had an eight gallon a minute pump, I could be going like this and just being done with it. But I don't have one, so it takes me a while. So to make that X amount of dollars, it takes a little while. It takes a while. And I gotta make sure that it looks good. So I gotta do a lot of rinsing. And I gotta stop and I gotta move my machine. With soft washing, uh, you know, with the house, I've been rolling my unit around, go to this side of the house, spray it, move the unit, move the hose, spray this side of the house, go back over here, rinse this side off, move the unit, go rinse this off, turn the water off, move the whole goddamn thing, hook it up around the side of the house to the other side, get it onto that unit, turn it back on. It's been taking me a while. With this baby, what I'm hoping and thinking is, if I can get two, 300 feet of hose and get a good batch, you know, not a roof batch, half and half, but a more of a, you know, one, two percent, and then just get that house, walk around that some bitch, get that thing all coated up, coated up with cream, yeah, we're gonna get that cream. Put it all over the house, clean that house up, and then rinse it with water with the uh, one of the pressure washers. Get that little blue tip, maybe even the pink tip, and just hit it, rinse it, forget it. Be done. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. I probably have some more shit to talk about. We're gonna save that for another video because, like the cream, we're gonna rise. We're gonna get two subscribers. Yeah, we're gonna get two people. Maybe we're gonna get 200. I do not know how Macho Man Randy Savage did that much coke in those many interviews with his voice like this. He never had a water bottle. No, for sir, he had cream hidden in his pants. Woo, that hurts. Anyway, if you like this video, think it's funny, or like, what the fuck? Go ahead and like and subscribe. We're gonna be uploading stuff every day. I'm doing the one video, 330, ah, ah. We're gonna do 30 videos this month. Um, some of them are gonna suck, some of them aren't. I guarantee that more than half aren't gonna suck. And you can take that to the bank, because that's a promise from Mr. Deans. Thank you, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Oh. Cream. We're gonna press that button. Where's that button? Yeah.